Uh-uh. I can read it to you. You can just retweet the tweet <laughs> that I just tweeted. Where is the chat? I don't see it. Yeah, click, click the thing on the chat thing. It's oh, capital there. Z J God. one. I have to open it. Lowercase O, lowercase T. Got to open it by hand now. It's really funny. Like now, now, uh, it's like, hey, do you want to use Google Hangout? Do you want to join this Google Hangout with the account you're signed in with, or a different one? It's like, well, maybe the one I'm signed in with already, the only one. That would be cool. Frank, did you start it? Yeah, oh yeah, it's broadcasting. Oh, uh, it's uh, it's just it's not on on my YouTube over here. Yeah, it's on it's, there. Yeah, it still says please stand by starting soon for me. Yeah, that's interesting. Looks like it's working now. Oh, there we go. Yeah, now it's on. All right. <laughs> Let's be on. I don't like that clicking on view all comments takes it instantly to the YouTube home yeah. page and says no comments. It's like, well, just take me to an empty comments page. And That's where I went. I got I got an empty comments page when I clicked it. Yeah, well, it, it's not doing that for me. I'll link I'll link you to where it took me. Hang on. <laughs> YouTube yeah. doesn't YouTube do, does not work on my. Uh, on this browser that I have here, so it works. It it's great because I can just look at all the comments. Which browser is that? Firefox. I just haven't updated Flash on Firefox, oh, gotcha. and it's worked out great. Like having an unupgraded browser has really helped with the whole uh, user experience of Google, because they're like some of our features are not available, and it means that you can actually use them instead of hunting for them <laughs> forever. More like the Goozer experience of Google. That is hey what we like. Yeah, well, I'm a smart god darn guy, let's face it. We could face it. Oh, someone says we we all look really lovely today. Oh, that's, thanks. Yeah, that's a no, nice no. lie. It's a true lie. It's because you're here prettying us up, Patrick. Yeah. You I just need a haircut hard, real bad. You, you, just, I do too. you just bring the average good lookingness of all of us way up. <laughs> Someone's asking why this is on my channel. It's because uh, Alex couldn't uh, figure out how to broadcast the thing. Actually. I'm incompetent. So that's why it's on my I, channel. I couldn't figure it out for like an hour. I was trying to just make a Google Hangout with only myself so that I could record some video of my screen so that I could show a guy the game that we're working on. I could not do it. I could not how do it. it. How, long, how long did it take you to figure out, Tim, like, Three minutes, four minutes. What screen sharing on a Google Hangout? No, I mean yeah. the current Google Hangout is what he's talking about. Oh, because it I, changed I, last week. Oh, I I haven't done it recently, but I don't feel like it would be that hard. Yeah, it's yeah. It's, I just it, I just clicked on screen share. And no, no, no. That's that's totally fine. It's when you are making a Google Hangout by yourself and you want to turn that into a YouTube video. That is what I could not figure out how to do. Hmm. But that's oh, you have to you have to broadcast live. To yeah, it's that. because I didn't know that you had to now instead of doing it all in one thing, go separately to YouTube.com. And you don't actually. I was we were wrong about that. What do you have to do? Um, we uh, you you have to you have to go to Google Hangout on Air is the new name of that product, and it has its own special web page now. It's got a separate. Okay, that's cool. Also within YouTube, if you click on upload, you can choose Hangout on Air as one of the things. Yeah, but it didn't. Well, I mean, maybe it's. it's I don't think that ex that is a possibility anymore. That used to be, but it's not now. Uh, it's, it was definitely a possibility when I started a stream uh, like two hours ago. Oh, all right. And uh, it was definitely still in there. But then I didn't. I didn't start the stream. I just. I. I, I hesitated. Someone on Twitter just said to me in all caps, Master Race reporting in. Oh, PC Master yeah. Race. <laughs> <laughs> that, that or you, you've also cultivated your own Aryan fan base. I hope all right, right. okay, uh, let's get this road on the show. Yeah, let's uh, do it. All right. Yeehaw. Time is the fire in which we podcast. This is oh, Insert good. Credit, episode 46, Durango Unchained. I'm your host, 
Alex Gorvlax Jaffe, and my favorite Price is Right minigame is Shopping Spree. Ooh. My name is Tim Rogers, and my favorite one is Plinko, because it's physics. It's a physics game. Uh, my name is Frank Spaldi, and my favorite Price is Right game is the one with the mountain climber guy who falls off at the end, because he falls off, and it's hilarious. God damn it, why'd you get to go before me? I'm Brandon <laughs> Sheffield, and Frank just stole my favorite dumb Price is Right game. I guess, uh, no, maybe my favorite Price is Right minigame is someone else uh, bidding a dollar more than the other person and making them angry. <laughs> nice. And also I'm joining Patrick us is, Miller. Yes. Yep. I'm Patrick Miller, and I was more of a Jeopardy guy myself. Sorry. Yeah. Well, uh, we're here to discuss the proceedings of the one-hour uh, conference revealing the Xbox One in probably over an hour. So uh, there's that. So I'm going to run through about nine topics. Topics. And uh, we'll devote about six minutes to each of them. Minutes. After that point, we could have a lightning round, almost completely unrelated to this or not, depending on how we're feeling. Okay. So, let's just do whatever, man. Yeah, let's just do whatever, man. We'll start with number one. Um, well, that's a good number to start with. That's not the one that uh, Microsoft chose to start with on the Xbox. <laughs> no. I'm going to go third with that number. So, this is a video game console, right? Nice. Next, next question. In theory. <laughs> oh, man, so the... The ninety-nine percent of the comments on the darn interweb are, are people going, "I just want to see video games, man. I, why does it go? I just want to see the video games. I don't want to watch TV on my video game console." Yeah, I guess what like, E3 is in two weeks. Yeah, E3 is yeah. in two weeks. I'm pretty sure there's going to be video games there. Number one, uh, stop shrieking about it. Not them not showing video games. Another one is people going, "Oh, all they showed was." Call of Duty, that's on like 10 other consoles. It's like, yeah, because they don't want to show their original stuff because they need something for their, their E3 thing, you know? I, I Maybe it's okay, my Tim, fault for having learned to think like a business, but... What is uh, the point? What, From your perspective as, as thinking like a business, what was the point of this reveal other than... I mean, okay, we know what it looks like. That's cool. We know what the... I'm going to tell you what it was. It was to cut an hour out of their E3 press conference. That was my yeah, only thing exactly. that I could think it's, of. That's, that's nice. what it was. But, but uh, who cares? Why bother? I don't care. Um, but <laughs> but they're, they're, they are introducing it as a product, is what they're doing. They've yeah. introduced the product now. Yeah. Uh, now they don't have to tell that story. I mean, it's, 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 more yeah. than, it's more than just cutting time out of the conference, right? No, like, they've you've still got to recap got the it. Concept now, yeah, so they're going they're to recap. This is... You've sure. all seen. They're they're going to be. This is our console. Here it is. They're going to do that one minute video, that one minute YouTube video that that shows the console, the controller, the connect very quickly. They're just going to show that at the beginning of their press conference because yep. that one minute is their whole press conference today that they took an hour to to to. It was to mostly about. about TV. It was mostly about the TV stuff, right? And it's yeah. like so. This this comes right back around to people going. Uh, uh, you know, I, I just want to play games on my... It's like, man, I watch Netflix on my PS3, and I think that's a cool experience, and I'm willing to have a cool experience with uh, something that's not a video game on my video game console. And uh, I don't know, being able to Skype with people on your screen while watching TV is a little weird, but... Yeah. Yeah. I'll, do, I'll do that. <laughs> well, know, okay, but wouldn't, wouldn't you say that... I'll, I'll do it. For Brandon, a, you want to you want to do it? Let's do, let's let's, let's do a podcast TV? from the next Xbox. Exactly. Next Xbox <laughs> Wouldn't you say that for a Xbox though? For so a video yeah. game reveal, this uh, for a video game console reveal, this was not very much a video game console reveal. I guess oh. they wa they want it to be an entertainment box for us. Yeah. But who is going to be watching this at 10 a.m. on a work day, other than people that are? game enthusiasts like this was a this was a reveal that was not for game enthusiasts interesting note on, during on a time, time when slot. only them would be watching why is so, 10 a.m. So, the game enthusiast i'm going to tell you i'm going to tell you what yeah well okay because what kind of jerk is going to take a, an hour out of their day at 10 a.m. Exactly. Uh, yeah, it, aside from a gamer but an interesting note on the time slot whereas these things are usually held in the afternoon 10 a.m. pacific that's Apple press conference. Yeah, that's time. exactly when Apple does all their things, and yeah. that's, Google has so started that's, doing that too. Yeah, and then and then Google followed Apple. I mean, it's, it's a perfect time because people talk about it all day. I mean, yeah, exactly. They, they talk about time. it all day, as we certainly uh, some of us did on Twitter. Talked about it a bit today. Yeah. I talked about it. I, I did was that. a little late getting into the talk about, mm. but I, I got, got eight hundred retweets about. on one thing. Eight hundred. Eight hundred. What was it? 
for posterity. That was, that was the, uh, the somewhat misinformation-based uh, tweet regarding how um, Sony's stock was going way up concurrently with the press conference happening. Ah. Um, but they, Sony was also simultaneously announcing, not announcing, talking about how they might possibly spin off their yep. entertainment division, which is their only pro- profitable division, which... Would like, make most people stock missed increase. that. Not just, like, I think Market Watch missed that. So you are well, not to blame, sir. Well, I didn't, I, didn't, I didn't miss it. I just saw it later. Yeah. Uh, and, and that, my, my correction about that only got 49 retweets. So <laughs> it's not, not near <laughs> oh, that's 800. that's fantastic. <laughs> it's not so, as funny. Yeah, it, was, it was announced. It's a game machine. It, it, they, the, all they did was talk about it doing stuff other than games, and the games that they showed were just stuff like Call of Duty, right? That's that's why the whole joke about it being a game console is uh, uh, why everybody's just talking about it not being a game console. I went to Kotaku and I read some comments. 99% of the comments were, where are the games? I don't see any games. This isn't about games. It was just people frothing at the mouth for games. And, and this is a Band-Aid that they kind of had to rip off eventually, though, right? Mm-hmm. Like... Like, <clears throat> assuming that this is that you know that that the future of the console is like this kind of nebulous entertainment box and not just like, um, oh, this thing you plug in and play video games on it. They would they you know whatever the first event is that they decide to break that news is is that's going to be the one we all bitch about. No, but, but they've, like, they've more they've people done that. use Xbox stuff for entertainment than they do for actual game stuff. So they have uh, they've true. done that with every console. Every console has this stuff. So like it. I mean, it wasn't... Of course they were going to have to talk about it, but they didn't have to talk about it for as long and, like, it was breaking all these boundaries when it's except not that's, really. That's, and that's, and that's, also... That's they wanted to sell it as. Yes, but they... they you know, they knew that they were going to have this bad reaction from, from people wanting to see games, so they could have, like phrased this in a different way yeah. where it's it's like, okay, we're telling you about these features now and at E3 yeah. we're definitely going to tell you about a lot of other game things. They did say sure that, didn't they? Yeah. Yeah, well, they, they, yeah. they just hid it they in weren't there. Like, yeah. Yeah. They weren't mm-hmm. like, you know, we've got 15, they said we have 15 uh, exclusives, exclusive eight of yeah. which they, are They hid original. that in there in like I a half mean, a sentence. And But they should have been like, we'll tell you about eight of those in two weeks. You know, no, that, I think, I think they said eight like, of them are exclusive. I think they're going to tell you oh, about I know, all of them. I know, I know, right, but I don't know that they're necessarily talking about all of them at E3. Yeah. Okay, so I want to just finish this topic by saying this This is the top comment. Why was there on, a doorbell just now? On, on the, that was Jaffe's thing. There, oh. there's, uh, this is the top comment on the IGN page that streamed the press conference. Ready? This is number one rated comment with all the upvotes. The comment reads as follows. This is seriously lacking focus on games. Four, four dots. Name is stupid. Controller is crap. Console is pug ugly. My entertainment is already streamlined with PC. Don't need all these frill extras. I want a game machine. And I still got to pay for online gaming? Lame. Sticking with Sony. PS4 all the way. Xbox One is bunk. Yes. So that's, that's, that's the top comment. Uh, and I'm, broadcast. I'm, sorry, I'm sorry, Tim, but we were looking for pug fugly. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. I don't like. Man, I, don't I like really that like word. how it looks, though. But what? Oh we, man! We should, I hope that's a question. I really want to talk about how the yeah. console works. Yeah, me too. Yeah, that's the next question. Okay. Is, it, is this thing huge? That wasn't just some unfortunate forced perspective or something, right? It's yeah, the no, same it's width. It's the same width as a 13-inch uh, MacBook Air. Uh, yeah, that's that's what they said, right? Well, that's what Steven Tort- Tortillo showed in a video. On Tortillo, Tortillo, yeah. yeah. Well, Steven, Steven, Steven Tortilla brought out his, uh, his <laughs> MacBook Totoro. Air. My neighbor, so, Steven Totoro, brought yeah. it out and put it next to it. It's the same width. Everyone talking about how it looks like a cable box. This is what a cable box looks like. <laughs> it looks like a piece of crap. This, this looks like something designed by like a four-year-old. This Xbox looks fantastic. Yeah, I, like I don't it. know if anybody else uh, understands just how fantastic it looks. Uh, if you don't know stuff about anything, please just don't start typing stuff on the internet because jerks like Microsoft listen to you, and I want stuff to look cool. Okay? Right? I want stuff to keep looking cool. Yep, I agree. And uh, it, 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 it kind of like, looks, like 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 like
uh, like a like part of a component system that you would yeah. put, like in yeah. your stereo stack and stuff. It's, but it's pretty but nice it's, looking. It still has that kind of carbon fiber looking grill stuff, and uh, yeah, it, it's got all this this new. It looks really industrial and really cool. They tried it looks to make exactly, it look like you could bolt it onto a car. It did kind of, yeah. It looks exactly like the kind of case you'd get for a home theater PC anyway. Yeah, which mm-hmm. is what they it just, to be. It just, to me, it feels like everything is starting to look like everything else, and that makes me sad. What does this look like? Just a black thing. I mean, that's, that's the... been the de facto standard for home theater equipment for like... Yes, exactly! Now. Everything's that's... looking like everything else. It, it bums the heck out of me. I mean, you just I, described uh... the Genesis, though. Like, Yeah. And like... also, this machine is meant to just kind of blend into your living room. It's meant to be the only thing in your living room, so it shouldn't pop that out. Connect. It should... that yeah, it doesn't need to look... Weak. It doesn't need to look like it's a... Uh... Like some kind of dragon statue or something. Like I wouldn't put that in my house. I don't I just, think. Yeah, exactly. What, it could have been so much worse. We could have gotten the Nvidia Shield of consoles. Okay. What, exactly. Yeah. That's that's what people wanted. That's what people like uh, Xbox One is bunk guy wanted. That's what that's what they, they wanted it to look like an Nvidia Shield. It should be a it, Forza car. It was <laughs> a Halo <laughs> Spartan. Like, Ask. One of those Excalibur swords they sell in the mall is what they wanted it to look like. With, <laughs> with an HDMI port in the hilt, plugging it into the back of the TV. <laughs> you just plug like, it into a Master Chief helmet. <laughs> yeah, yeah, th- that's what they, they want. stab but, it in. <laughs> like, it, 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 the criticism that it... You stab it into the top of the helmet. That's the Nintendo console <laughs> master sword. The, the, the criticism that it looks like everything else in the living room, I don't really agree with because it does have yeah. that Xbox logo's classy looking. Uh, it, it it's it's just it's got enough classy looking stylings yeah. on it. It it looks yeah. like a sweet industrially designed thing. And I this, want this... my box to not look like anything. I want it to look like it's part of my TV. You know. So yeah. so the same types of people who are saying that PlayStation Four won over Xbox already are the same exact people who said the PlayStation 4... I mean, like, psychologically, they have the same exact brain structure as the type of person who said the PS4 lost because they didn't (laughs) show the console, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, to me, that's pretty hilarious. I I do like how they they decided to just show the console in the first 10 seconds of the broadcast or whatever Mm -hmm. it was, right? Hey, morons, this is what you want, right? (laughs) Yes, There there was strategy happening months beforehand, likely yeah. that was uh oh yeah. You know they they were really lacking the uh, the the move music demonstration I feel, mm-hmm. you know, with people drumming <laughs> and stuff. Uh, they would have won if they'd only had that. Yeah, but it, it's seriously lacking focus in games. <laughs> there uh, there are so many games. There are more games in development than ever in Xbox history. Apparently, I don't know if I believe that, but that's what they said. Uh, you know, Wait, I'd, uh, did I'd they say games that... or did they say franchises, though? Games. They said okay. games. I I I believe that there's more games because uh, let's let's take a look at the facts. The industry is bigger. Uh, there's more people there playing the games. <laughs> <laughs> there's uh, this is a new console. Microsoft has a trillion dollars. Why why wouldn't there be more games? Yeah, I and, and the console's just a PC. Uh, people can be developing. They don't even need a development kit to be theoretically developing games, right? Yeah, I think somebody must be. Uh, I mean, they must have some solution for indies that they've already talked to a few people about because that's that to me is the only way that they could have the most games ever. Yeah. Uh, oh, definitely. Because, because I mean, it, the industry is bigger, but that's because it has like fragmented into smaller pieces, and there aren't as many. There certainly aren't as many large-scale companies that can make AAA games anymore. Uh, like yeah, not as many like as ten years ago. At some point in the past couple of like a year or so, they must have talked to somebody who's worked with Sony before about uh, getting independent games on their console. Yeah, and probably worked that out. But yeah, I think we were talking about the way the console looks. I like the way it looks. I like the way the controller looks. I think the controller looks fantastic, and there's jerks on the internet saying it looks like the Xbox original controller. It's like no, well, really, it doesn't. It actually. it actually doesn't. Uh, it it actually has almost an Nvidia Shield look to it, where uh, you know, which is it, again, you'd think from the comments that that's what everybody wants. They want it to look like some uh, extreme sports kind of uh, 
uh, a safety harness. I like how how, uh, how ribbed for my pleasure the thumbsticks look. Yeah, uh, those those look uh, <laughs> fantastic. Uh, those look really good. Uh, it, it's just the whole thing. Look, the, the console looks ribbed for your pleasure as well. It's got <laughs> it's it, it, it's got what looks <laughs> to be a fantastic grippy material all over it, and it's uh, the buttons look nicer with the uh, with the the bla- the color on black. It's a little classier. So. Uh, that goes in, that goes right into our next topic. Am I crazy, or is the force feedback, improved D-pad, and lack of a share button on the new controller all pretty cool things? Yeah, I, I, like think, those. I think all the stuff on the controller is great. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and say we are developing a video game that we would possibly like to have on the Durango, and uh, I heard about those force feedback triggers, and immediately I, I knew exactly what to do with them, and it's a fantastic... Uh, and it makes it makes the game actually, I'd say, tangibly better to have so why, a force feedback trigger. Why is not having a share button a positive feature? Like because then you can't share anything, and you can keep your games to yourself. Oh, yeah, true. yeah. If you share your game, you're gonna have less game. They're all gonna laugh at you, Frank. If you share your game, that's I mean, right. a pretty good. Then, uh, go ahead. Once you start sharing your game, they're gonna take all of it. They're gonna take it all from you. <laughs> You get I don't know if this is a thing that we are we're gonna talk about already, but um, speaking of game sharing, I mean I don't I don't want there to be a share button that people kind of Sony might f- force people to use for a while, but I do like that with the 360. I mean the 360 with the Xbox One. God, it's such a it's hard to remember that that's what it's called. Um, <clears throat> with the Xbox One, you can DVR your playthroughs and you can actually you can record all your game sessions and things that is pretty cool mm-hmm. I certainly like watching playthroughs of people who do excellent stuff and if now that, well okay you you can DVR and maybe like manually upload but um, I don't think they have what the PS4 has which is someone who's whoever's typing please stop yep please thank you very loud um, typing. I don't think they have what what the PS4 has which is the sort of Gaikai uh, cloud thing where, you know, it's just an automatic ins- instantaneous upload because it's already streaming anyway. Mm-hmm. Um, they, they, so. they, they kind of hinted at it like, oh yeah, the cloud is involved. We've got all these servers and video. I, I did, yeah, but, it, but is Azure, like, is it Gaikai? I kind of doubt it. I mean, who, it's it, too early to tell, so probably uh, not. Like, It's did, Microsoft's did, own uh, kind of... Duct- Microsoft has kind of a thing. cloud... They have a cloud service. Uh, right. I saw them yeah. talking about it in... But, uh, but what is it, really? I remember the commercials during the Super Bowl a couple years ago where it's like, I'm going to use the cloud to do this. And it's like, they, they didn't really explain they did. what it is. Yeah. It's, they, they just put a commercial during the Super Bowl for it so that does that automatically legitimize their product. I think uh, so. I guess it does, yeah. People love but, the cloud, yeah. They're they love the cloud because... It was. They saw it on TV. This so announcement I, felt to me like a Super Bowl commercial in that in that uh, in that regard because it it you know like uh, one one thing that I said was you know it it's got sports, Call of Duty, and TV. Like all they need is to talk about lowering taxes and they win the Republican vote. <laughs> <laughs> so we were talking about uh, DVRing gameplay. Uh, you know, we can also DVR cable. Uh, because there's an HDMI in and a pass-through, right? right? Yeah. Um, so I'm wondering what happens if you HDMI in a PS4 into your Durango. <laughs> I think that's actually something that would work, yes. Yeah, so... I don't just... see why, theoretically, it wouldn't work. I bet they'll find a way to make that not work. They, w- <laughs> they I don't think either of them would want those consoles to work together, but that would be hilarious. I want to record so... some uh, Ratchet & Clank on my Durango. Yeah, why yeah, the heck not? Even though yeah. you probably can on your PS4, you might as well do it the most ridiculous way possible. Ratchet so and Karango. So I'm looking at the uh, the uh, internets uh, about these uh, this controller. So I'm looking at pictures of it. I like that the Xbox logo is located farther up from the buttons than it was previously, whereas previously it was like right in the middle and your fingers might slide on it. I like that. Uh, I've I've heard tell on Twitter. I tweeted about how much I liked the controller, and uh, a bunch of people who are developing games for Xbox tweeted at me, saying such things as the D-pad clicks when you push it, nice. which sounds cool. great yeah. to me. 
and uh, they, they, these people obviously knew that I would like that detail. The, it clicks when you push it. The buttons feel almost identical to the uh, original Xbox 360, uh, which kind of sucks. The vibrating triggers are awesome, which I can imagine they would be. Cause, uh, I'm just imagining, like, you hold down a trigger, and then if you're, like, charging a gun, like, you have, like, three levels of charge, like, mm. it'll pulse yeah. once for each charge. And then you know to release it after like the third pulse for the, the type of bullet that you want. Uh, Ziggurat, the FPS, would benefit hugely from that because we have multiple charge levels on a single gun. And also that the analog sticks do indeed have much less of a dead zone. That sounds cool to me. Yes. Yay. I'm not I'm a big fan of vibration. I've someone <laughs> working with the controller. I've actually got one right here. Um, <laughs> there it is. But let's not talk about that. <laughs> Let's uh, let's just keep that a secret for now. But I've got one right here. So the people talking about it on the internet that was that was me. As you can see, there's there's the D pad. Uh, I I just I, I like that. I mean I I I'm not, I'm not a huge fan of consoles in general. Like I don't play a whole lot of dual stick shooters. But I like that the paradigm for a controller um, with the PlayStation and Xbox has stayed more or less concurrent or consistent for the last um, what decade or so. Yeah, uh, because it makes me feel like we're really we really figured something out, guys. We can make incremental improvements to this thing, you know, instead of like reinventing a fucking controller every time we come out with a new system. Yeah, that was Sega's problem. They were like, "Got to be a new controller." Yeah, it's well, got to look wacky. I mean, it's got to yeah. look weird. I guess I guess you could call that Nintendo's biggest problem. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There, well, the the having no screen in the Xbox controller does sort of suck. To think about, but actually, smart glass. That's yeah. You know, but you, like, already, you already own a screen. Are they, are they going to release a an Xbox branded oh. smart glass with the actual analog sticks and buttons on it? It's, well, that I mean, that's I, what I, the I'd surface like is probably. I want oh. one of those though. I want it. Oh, like, oh yeah, I want I the want Xbox official. clip on to my surface. Yeah, I, I don't even want it to clip on. I want it to be its own thing, published for like 149 U.S. dollars. I just read that... Uh, 299 U.S. dollars. Fewer than 2 million um, surfaces have been sold. Few yeah. million? <clears throat> fewer than 2 million. Fewer than few million? Fewer than right. few million. Okay, next question then? Next, yes, next topic. Just because, let's hear it. Because these jokes are probably what our audience tuned in for, <laughs> let's address the name now. Xbox okay. One or Xbox One? Or Xbox One. Yeah. Xbox, Xbox One. One. Oh, for, Xbox for those of you listening to the podcast, I uh, held up my hands in a W to indicate W O N. And it was really uh, oh. funny. Yeah. yeah, it was pretty hilarious. It was a good so, time. One. Uh, on the drive home to uh, record this podcast, uh, I had NPR on because I'm really smart. And um, someone said President Obama, and immediately I, w- I, I said out loud, President Obama! And I just want nice. to share that. Thank you. Yeah, nice. Um, so I think that it's probably, considering, um, I'm sure we're going to talk about this, considering that the major takeaway for everyone from this was that there was a dog in Call of Duty. Yeah. Right. Um, it's actually the Xbox One, W A N. One One is, is the, how dogs bark. That's ah. how dogs bark in Japan, so I'm pretty sure. And, and it's, it's close enough to X Bone over here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, people have definitely been calling it the X Bone yeah, a whole X-Bone. bunch. So uh, a lot of people talking about the name being dumb. Uh, did anybody literally did did any like occasionally you'll see a dude like a like a broish dude going yeah I'm gonna get that game on the 360. But didn't like like correct me if I'm wrong, but most people I know call the Xbox 360 the Xbox. Right? Yeah, I call, I call it, it the 360. Yeah, I, I call, call it 360. Also, but I'm pretty sure most people say yeah. Xbox, and uh, and I totally see what they're doing. They're trying to reboot it, a la yeah. the iPad. It's like iPad right. is now the iPad. Yeah, it well, confuses I mean, it's... only the tech savvy people that like had one before. They're hoping they that this will be like for X- everyone. They should have called it the Xbox, and then. When re- they released it, they should have marketed it as the new Xbox. Is what yeah. I think they should have. Yeah, done. they should have but just called it the Xbox. It doesn't really matter what they yeah, call what they it, uh, yeah. other than you know differentiating it for people who buy it yeah. for the first time. Because I mean, I mean people know. are just going to call it Xbox, just like people call the PS3 the PlayStation. Sure, we that all know is. that regardless of what we call it, moms are still going to keep calling it the Nintendo. That is true. 
That is exactly true. That is or the PlayStation, unfortunately. Yeah, yeah. there's some moms are going to call the PlayStation. Now. Your PlayStation is is making noises in there. Is what they're going to say. <laughs> Your PlayStation's making noises. It's talking. I don't know what it's saying. That's that's what it is now with the game consoles. Yeah, and now we can actually talking. hear your heartbeat too, so it's extra. Yeah, cool. yeah, that that part creeped me out, but I bet we're going to talk about that later. But uh, 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 the, most of the comments that I'm seeing on the YouTube videos, like the I, I was watching the IG, IGN stream after it happened because I had work and stuff to do while it was happening, and uh, it kept freezing, so I, I just started watching separate videos, kind of like puzzle piecing it together, like the little one minute videos that were posted all over the internet for maximum hittage, and. Uh, the, the top comment on almost every one of them was WTF, the Xbox name is so dumb. Xbox One is the dumbest name. Uh, Microsoft fail. Uh, and then it was uh, 359 steps back was the most common comment, which is uh, was really annoying. Because uh, mm -hmm. it's like, yeah, that's a very common comment. But yeah, yeah, it's that, that it's was, not a bad name. It's totally fine. It's, it's they're to, just yeah. they're just trying to apple it up is all. But yeah. they might uh, they they're they might run it. into that problem that Nintendo did with the Wii U apparently because a lot of those moms are just like it's which Wii is the good one? Which Wii is the one he wanted? There's two of them. There's not like oh, yeah. one that's like like PlayStation Four. Fantastic name. Mm -hmm. They could they should. Have have probably, and this is me thinking as a, a wannabe businessman, they should have just called it the Xbox 3. That's what they should have called it. Probably. But then you had the 360 before yeah. that, so that's... Which know. was a pretty bad name, but they could have they could have worked around. Yeah, they, they should have not named the last one the Xbox, the Xbox 360. 360. They should have called that the Xbox 2. Yep. yep. And this one, the Xbox 3, is what they should have done. I think Xbox One is okay, because it's everything in one, right? Yeah, people people joking about it uh, being a having cable TV and stuff in it. I don't want to watch TV. It's like, well, you know, maybe you would. You know, I didn't want to watch TV shows until I had Netflix and they were all on there. You know, I I don't know. Plus, Comcast. It's been one year, a whole year, since the N NBA Finals last year. It's been a whole year, and they have not activated my cable. No you you could definitely make that happen for yourself, Tim. Nope. Yeah. I've called no, them over 20 times now, yeah. and they keep saying that they can't come, uh, they can't specify anything more specific than a four-hour window. You're, you're so always I, home during that four-hour window. I know it's... No, the, you're, no, here's the thing. You're not, you, you obviously have not listened to this no, story. No, I have. I was going to continue times. the sentence, but They you need to be it. in my house between 9.30 and 11, yes. because that is when the building manager... <laughs> Is in the building. Yep, that She's was the only end of in the, the building that I was going to say. Nine thirty to eleven. <laughs> so I'm I can be here, but they can't. Yeah. And they've never made the nine thirty to eleven window ever. We're sorry, we can't do that. We can be there between eight and noon, and then they get here at like four, and they call me like, "Yeah, I'm outside your house. I don't see your house. Where are you?" Uh, 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 uh. And I'm like, "I'm right out here. I can see you. I'm waving at you." Uh, 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 uh. I'm like, yeah, I'm right over here. I can see you. I'm waving at you. I see your truck. And it's like, are you, uh, I don't know how to get in the, the, the building. I'm like, I'm over here. And then he's like, oh. And I'm like, you need to be here between 9.30 and 11 in order to hook the cable up because the building manager's not here because it's 4 p.m. right now. Okay, you know, I'll give him a call. Tell him you can't. Tell him you wouldn't hear. Tell you, I'll tell him. Uh, and then that's it. That's my experience with Comcast. <laughs> Yeah, so maybe Literally. the Xbox One will solve. So the Xbox thing. One, cable TV for me? Why not? Can I get HBO on it? Because that's what I'm paying for right now and not getting with Comcast. Next topic. Um, I'm you. a I'm a little freaked out about this, so uh, maybe you can assuage my fears here. But uh, can the Xbox One see into your dreams? Yes. Yeah, I mean, basically. obviously, it's perfect. That, that was part it's of the share functionality, like right? Dream. So it, it, it gets all those uh, it can see the wrinkles in your clothes. Did you guys see that video? Yeah. Like it can yeah. it can see wrinkles in your clothes. It can probably tell a it can probably like uh, be like pay a dollar to us right now or we'll tell we'll show everybody uh, on the internet your penis. And it's like what? <laughs> the Xbox 
the Xbox <laughs> There's has blackmailing you into buying DLC. The, the, the Xbox has recorded enough footage of you in loose pants to know exactly what your penis looks like. And then it's like you see this composite come up and it's like, here it is. And then it's like it's like, oh my god, we're going to post this on your Facebook wall now. It's like, no. Oh say Xbox, Xbox. no. Say, <laughs> Xbox, say, go home. Say Xbox, please. <laughs> and then it's like, you're not desperate enough, Frank. Say it again. Why? Why is it me? <laughs> you're so not that, desperate enough, Frank. The thing I'm most excited about with this uh, with this Connect deal is not anything to do with games. It's what kind of weird wacky stuff other people are going to do with it cuz like i've got i've got this friend Aaron Myers who does weird computer art things and at that creators project deal that uh where you know like square pusher was performing for the first time in a dozen years and stuff um there were some connect exhibits of various things that people could do and he just did a simple thing where uh, various things with birds happen to you, like you put up your arms and wings come out from them, or uh, a flock of birds comes and picks you, pecks you, your body apart and stuff. Does um, it peck your and that's, pecs? It's, it's like your super, chest. yeah, it pecks your pecs. It's super simple, but um, with more complex things, people can do crazy stuff. You know, like people were trying to do um, volumetric recording of of 3D images to, to try to translate into into assets and stuff. That's crazy. And with this kind of thing, you can maybe actually do it. And if you watched, like, if you saw the demonstrations and talked to people or read things about it, um, there was a demo of, uh, like, a six-foot-four guy standing three feet away from it and being mm -hmm. able to still raise his arms and be registered. So it's like, now you can actually use it. That that uh, video was uh, more impressive than the entire press conference. I thought. Indeed. And as someone who is six four and has a tiny living room, I'm actually looking forward to that. Are you six four? <laughs> yep. Yeah, he's wow. six four. He's a pretty tall guy. He's tall screen. dude. He's taller than me. That's why I don't stand so close to him. <laughs> hey, I've hung out with you. So, so I, what, I don't know. What, what video were you talking about, Frank? Uh, the Engadget one. The, oh, the, the Gizmodo one. Or Gizmodo. Whatever. One that the I same thing. The same website. Yeah. <laughs> the Gizmodo <laughs> one. But yeah, yeah, that's, uh, yeah. Like, like I, I read a whole bunch of editorials, including uh, the one by uh, by Lee Alexander, where she goes, "This is uh, Microsoft presuming that people who play video games all have big living rooms and giant TVs." It's like they they did mention in the press conference that the Connect has a wider focus, but I think that again that was uh, an unfortunate incident with words because wider focus, not everybody's a photographer, right? They think that means so now my living room's got to be bigger, it's got to be yeah. wider. So well, it's like, wider focus means, you know, it's gonna that that thing, because uh, you see that Gizmodo video, that guy's standing right in front of the TV yep. and it's seeing him head to toe. Like yeah. That's, that's kind of remarkable. Well, wider focus in addition to, you know, the confusion of of terms, in this press conference that was basically just a buzzword gr hand grenade thrown into a, yeah, it was buzz a crowd it was of people, salad. wider focus could just mean that they're looking at reaching out to more, more stuff, reaching out to more graphics. I, I think uh, I think you know Lee's message was less about the size of the TV and more about how like oh, the TV it, it, isn't the focus of like I mean. I think it was Don Matrick at the press conference that was just talking about how the, the living room is still the predominant screen in everyone's home and blah, blah, oh, blah. Oh, yeah, it's yeah. Like, I, I, my TV's almost never on. Like, my predominant yeah. screen is my phone. Uh, and yeah. If I'm not on my phone, I'm on my my uh, my tablet. And if I'm not so, on my tablet, I'm on my laptop. And then, like, fourth from all that other stuff is my television. Mm -hmm. I tell you what, though, Frank, I'm, I'm right here in front of my TV with my laptop open. <laughs> yeah. And I, so for me, it definitely, it definitely is the, the major screen. Like, if I'm going to play a game, right it's going to be on there. It's not on right now. Okay. But if I, I were watching guys, a uh, movie, this might also be on. I, um, I am often on my laptop in front of my TV also. The TV is just this thing that's in my house. It's not. I, I work with my TV on. Yeah, I know but, you do. Yeah, but, uh, but I also have does. to. I also have to turn on my TV in order to play um, my tape deck. Oh, wow. that sucks. Nice. Because I only, I only had two inputs in my wow. um, in my 
receiver, and so I had to plug my tape deck into my TV in order to hear it through my speakers. <laughs> but, you know, it seems like... Just like everyone. They're, yeah, they're trying, to, they're trying to eliminate all other screens is, is kind of their promise, and I just don't see that happening. And but I think they I'm don't even have a screen. This is the thing that I was thinking about throughout the thing. They're like... They, they, they clearly want to have, like, a single screen environment, and, like, you don't need your phone because you can... While you're watching Star Trek, you can hear nice things about the new one, even though it's already out. Um, yeah, that's weird. Yeah, it was kind of strange what he said. But, um, you know, that's that's not going to be a better experience, first no. of all. Like, having it on your phone is better. Um, but yeah. the other thing is, like, they're so dedicated to having this one screen, but they don't control that screen. Why do didn't, why doesn't the Xbox come in a... Okay, it, it wouldn't really make sense for the Xbox to come inside of an HDTV, but <laughs> they could also sell those, like at right, Walmart but, but or something. But they're trying to route cable TV through your Xbox. Like, they're trying to control it by making it the source of everything, right? So that yeah. everything you do goes through that, and then they might as well control the screen. Right? Yeah, no, it just it just felt like... It felt like they're missing that last step of sure. vertical integration. Well, they're because... They're trying to go all the way. Mm-hmm. They're not a television manufacturer. No, I know. I'm, I'm not saying it's something yeah. they should have done. Okay. I'm okay. saying it feels like they're I moving don't... so far in that direction, like they might as well do it. Yeah, well, you never know. Apple's apparently making a TV. So Snapple. that's happening. I, I, but... I think that Lee's editorial makes sense if you understand that she just like sold all her stuff and packed up and moved to London. I did not um, read that editorial. Yeah, that's okay. that's not. I mean, that's that's an unpredictable uh, audience demographic. Right. Though, and totally and and but it's Tim not... Tim's take on the Xbox in general makes sense when you realize that he has the biggest living room and the biggest TV out of all of us five. That's right. true. Yeah. My so, my that's... TV is god darn enormous. You can see it right here, kind yeah, of. Yeah, it's pretty side of it. For those of you listening at home, he's showing us. I'm a showing TV. the TV. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, uh, that when right you there. come to when you visit Oakland, California. Tim's television is like one of the five landmarks of that city. Well, <laughs> that is pretty big. The worst statement. It's yeah. pretty big, but uh, yeah, I uh, I think it's kind of. I mean, but the thing is, you don't actually need a huge TV or a huge living room for this connect, and they kind of did that, and it's uh, yeah. Uh, nice. But then again, as we can let's let's to close this topic out, let's revisit that quote on IGN. Okay. My entertainment Ready. is already streamlined with PC. Don't need all these frill extras. So there you go. His his right. PC streamlines his entertainment because he has all of his programs on it, obviously, that he yeah. uses. Doesn't need frill extras on, on an Xbox. He has games on his PC, but he also has the Internet, so he doesn't need games yeah. and the Internet on his Xbox. That's the public's opinion. So. Right on PS. You know, I would, I would say just as the last thing... That Xbox I, uh, One is bunk? I un- <laughs> yes, I understand. I understand why people get nervous about it because the the tendency is to think that these extra things are taking away from what you most wanted to do, which yes. as a player of games is play games. And mm-hmm. So it's like I'm paying for stuff that I don't want, and it's going to clutter up my interface. It's going to make it more confused. And those two things, those last two things, are probably definitely true. Because yeah. like if you if you look at the Xbox Marketplace, they hide games in there because they know that you want them. It's like why they put <laughs> they want you to look for them. The grocery store. It's the You're supermarket problem. Milk, so you got to go mm. back there. One thing that I uh, learned while watching this IGN live stream today is that you can customize your Xbox 360 dashboard to put the stuff where you want it to be. Maybe I will. Mm. You can. All you right. can, I didn't know that. I didn't I know that either. I was supposed to dig through stuff. All you have to do is click on. A, you have to add a pin to the thing, and then you have a list of pins. So you can have all your favorite games and Netflix, like right there on your home screen, and you just yeah. click on pins, Had and no it idea. shows you all your stuff. Yeah, that's what I, I do. I didn't know about that, but they obviously hide that stuff. All right, yeah. we got Patrick for about two more questions. We should move on. Yeah, we uh, okay. we've gone well over the time limit on this one. Let's do it. Let's take the next one. Let's all do it. All right. How many Emmys will Steven Spielberg's Halo show win in its first of what is sure to be many beloved seasons? I'm going to tell you what. How, how many? Twice as many Wait, as Red versus Blue. I'm going to watch it. I'm going to watch yes. the Halo show. Bring it. I'm going to watch it. Why not? So, how many Emmys you know? are there? Because like, <laughs> yeah, outstanding drama, uh, like outstanding thirty writing, seven or something. I don't know. There's uh, about sixty anyway, different. But yeah. editing. They're going to have to make new ones. 
uh, because it'll be that good. Are, are yeah. Netflix original shows uh, eligible for Emmys? I guess they are. I, know. I know Netflix is rolling out a bunch of original shows. That I don't see why it can't be. So it's it's uh, exclusive to the Xbox. It is. Yeah. Um, and That's so weird. But why despite, not? Despite what some uh, journalists uh, immediately jumped to, no one ever said that Steven Spielberg is directing Halo. Right, right. Yeah, I really did it. not. They didn't say that, did they? They did yeah. not say that. No. All that really indicated like, was that Steven Spielberg is barely aware of what Pong is. Like, Steven Spielberg <laughs> is attached to it in some capacity. I imagine that just means it's Steven Spielberg Productions or whatever it's called. And like yeah, I said on executive Twitter earlier producing. today... You know, he's probably as involved as he was in, like, Tiny Toon Adventures, you know? Which uh, so, was uh, awesome! So, yeah, so he's basically Animaniacs. the showrunner then. And he was in it. Don't forget Hysteria. Freakazoid! Freakazoid! Was, that Freakazoid. was a Spielberg one, you're right. That was a Spielberg yeah. production. Uh, so, what you're saying, Frank, is that it's going to be awesome. Yeah, it's going to have Freakazoid in it. In the Halo. Sure! Yeah. I and love there will be a Genesis game. Okay, about it. who would win in a fight? Freakazoid or Master Chief? We're about to find out. Was there a Freakazoid, Freakazoid Genesis Freakazoid. game? <laughs> Is there is is there not There's a Freakazoid, Freakazoid Super Nintendo game? I don't think there was ever a Freakazoid Super Nintendo. Game. No, I, just I don't think so. I, I swear I there just, was. No I just want to I just want to mention while we're on this topic that the uh, executive they brought on stage to uh, introduce Steven Spielberg is exactly what a television executive looked like in my mind. So it, like, that's great. Out of my brain onto the stage with the pearl. That's fantastic. And the jacket. I just want to say fantastic. for the record here for everybody that I th I think Halo is cool. Uh, I think the world of Halo is actually pretty cool, and I'm not saying I'm not saying that ironically. There, there is, they they did build kind of a thing. I haven't read any of the books, but I've listened to people who have read them talk about them, and it does sound like they did a bunch of work on it. There could be a pretty cool show about this. Okay, that's no. cool and all, but here's the thing. There's no such thing as a Freakazoid video game. There's no... no there's yeah, there's yeah I just looked at it. No, there's not. not. I, I played it. What? I played it. I had Exclusive it in, for Xbox One. I had it in high school. We, we all played it out back <laughs> while smoking. We, there was an we episode made. that was a oh. spoof of Sierra Adventure games, though, which I appreciated at the time because mm -hmm. I got the joke. Nice. That's so, fantastic. So I'll I wanted to also point out I, that... Oh, okay. Okay, uh, this is this is a short thing. Steven sure. Spielberg says, "I even played Pong in 1974," and I immediately go, "Yeah." So he waited two years to play Pong. <laughs> what a dude! Yeah. Sick burn. Yeah. So Pretty that's the, how can we really trust him about Halo? Yeah. The end. That's I was it. just gonna say, say, I really hope that that um, incoherent octopus character from Halo Two that you were supposed to have a meaningful interaction with. Oh, I love that guy, Master Chief, and that thing. Oh yeah, Ultra. Just, like, I hope that that guy is the main character so that you can't understand anything. Wait, wait, who? The octopus guy? The Arbiter? Uh, was that who that was? I was forget. It the Covenant guy? No, no, he's thinking of Gravemind, the, uh, Halo, the uh, Flood dealy Bob. I thought Gravemind, Gravemind. was a He-Man toy. Uh, <laughs> possibly. Uh, but the Grave Man I, is like the boss of the Flood. Yeah, he was, he was a boss. I, the Rhyming reason I don't Octopus remember thing. is because I couldn't understand a damn thing that was being said, and I couldn't turn subtitles on because they didn't oh. have that as an option. Yeah, I'm not really sure you were supposed to understand. No, you were, because Master Chief was responding in, like, blah, blah, blah. It wasn't, like, expositional where he was yeah. explaining both no, sides. No, Master Chief was more like, I'm anyway. Master Chief. Yeah. Actually, no, his voice is kind of cool. Master Chief's voice is kind of cool. Yeah. Master John Chief. Yeah, John Chief. John Chief. Best Master, Master by a Chief is the... Uh, is he, is... Wait, is Master Chief uh, related to Ken Masters from Street Fighter? I think I, I think guess he Steven is, Spielberg by, is by marriage. Talk. I think. Yeah, yeah, he is related to Master Chef. Now, hey, Master hang on, Chef. I got I got to back up to Steven Spielberg for a second here because I just saw a comment, even though I try not to look at her comments live, uh, about yeah. how Steven Spielberg isn't a real gamer because he just talked about Pong. I'll have you know that, that man got a Star Wars arcade machine uh, flown out to his sets because he liked it so much, and so there. And he also. Uh, was involved in the dig for LucasArts, and he played all the LucasArts games. So there. And how about uh, sure he knows some stuff about? Here, huh? He okay. used to he used to call Lucasfilm games and like talk to Ron Gilbert personally when he was stuck in Monkey Island. So there. <laughs> yeah, so I, I'm pretty sure Steven Spielberg uh, actually likes video games. I, I think I don't think he's pretending because look at look at some of the movies. Look at the movies that made him famous, right? Yeah. How can he not like AAA action video games? Right. I mean, come on. That guy doesn't need to pretend at this yeah, point. Yeah, yeah, it's like he could he could just as well say, "No, I don't want to make your stupid show." And uh, 
you know, still die with millions of dollars. Yeah, he's under got his the pillow. money. And it's like he, yeah. you know, uh, but I, in in uh, my conclusion here, yes, if I have one of those Xbox, if Microsoft gives me one for free, uh, I will plug it into my TV and I will watch that Halo show. When it's on. Okay, and then and then it'll win Emmys because of your support. Yeah, I will vote yeah. for, oh, yeah. it for the Emmys. Yeah. I will give it a. You uh, probably like with the purchase of an Xbox One or the reception of one. If you get one for free, uh, you actually become a judge. And also, <laughs> the, the one thing I could tell when the TV executive or whoever it was was talking about, you know, we love Game of Thrones and Breaking Bad and stuff. It's like you know, them mentioning those words to me is uh, kind of shows, you know, yeah, and, and our company has a trillion dollars. So we're going to pay people to make us something that's that good. And you know what? I hate to be cynical, but it kind of is that easy to make a good TV show. Yeah, it's something that I can definitely painlessly spend several hours watching. Uh, if you have a trillion dollars, you can probably just put some money in the right place and get a good story um, written out for you. This was one of my favorite L um, parts of that whole conference, which um, I don't know if people noticed, but she totally paused for applause after Game of Thrones, and nobody. Did she and nobody <laughs> applauded because Amazing. because the Microsoft employees who were in the back making the applause either don't watch Game of Thrones or just hadn't been told to applaud that part. Yeah, <laughs> uh, that's so scary. And, and so she was like, you know, we like Game of Thrones, and then she looks around with a smile on her face and nothing happens, and then uh, she moves yeah, on. For, yeah, that's that, right. That was an awkwardness. I enjoyed it. Yeah, next but topic. I mean, I was quite at home. But next yeah, topic. next one, let's do it. Kick it up. Will the Xbox One change the way we play with dogs in video games forever? Yes. Uh, forever. Call of Duty dog. So that Call of Duty dog got like 10,000 followers in like five minutes yeah. on Twitter. <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah. I wonder I what that dog. the person who's, who, who founded the Call of Duty dog Twitter, what, what are they going to be thinking? On like their deathbed, if they don't accomplish anything else that expensive, <laughs> life, life like, well spent. At are least they just, I made they, Call of Duty. Are they gonna go? I guess I made the Call of Duty dog Twitter account back in 2013, or was it 2015? What year was that? When did the Xbox come out? Anyway, I'm dead. The Xbox One. A lot of, God, the Xbox was it the which Xbox was it? Was it the Xbox One or the Xbox Infinite? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, yes, that's the next one. They're oh, going to start God. naming the Xboxes after Bioshock titles from here no, on out. Now I'm dying. Oh, no. Uh, I can't remember. What was my Twitter login? I, uh, oh, <laughs> how many followers did it end up getting? Yeah, you got to tell and people then, And then they're going to go, Xbox, Twitter. And then the Xbox is going to turn on and go, your heart rate is slowing down. Shall I call an ambulance? Shall I there are three ambulances within five minutes of your residence. <laughs> Shall I summon one for you? And you go, yes, Xbox. And then it goes, sorry. And then it switches to ESPN immediately. And then it, goes, it goes, sorry, you haven't played video games in 16 days. <laughs> I don't like you anymore. <laughs> Xbox, no! I'm going to Xbox, let why? you die. And then it goes, no, this is the Xbox Z. Xbox Y was 10 years ago. There you go. That, there you... That's, that's how dogs will change video games. That's, yeah. that's exactly it. The Call of Duty dog, Twitter creator, dying with ambulances five minutes from his or her house. Well, it's not too much different for me than uh, dog meat in Fallout 3. So There's a dog. And then in Fable 2, there was that thing that they had in the game that was oh, something yeah. unlike anything you'd ever seen before, and it's dog called like a dog. Thing. Yeah, It's called yeah. a dog. <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah. called a dog. And then there it was. I wonder if a dog is what's inside the cube. Oh my god, Milo is in there. <laughs> no, it's emotions. It's tears. That's Call of Duty cube. dog is inside the cube. It was actually Xbox One that was inside the cube. Oh. Or no, then they would have called it the box, and it was the the X cube. Right. The X cube X cube bone. It is but kind that, of hilarious how Peter Molyneux seems to be like retroactively validated every single time Microsoft opens their mouth, though. It's true. Well, right, they did cool. try to buy his company, so I guess they like him. Right. Didn't they succeed in buying his company? Or yes. wait, wait, his new company or his but old? Not his new. Twenty-two company. cans. Now his new company is all him, but the 
Is uh, 22 Lionhead. cans, is it meant to be 22 cans? Is yes, that that's, the, that was my intentional inflection. I'm pretty well, sure I, that's, yeah. I don't know. Because are they, do they have any two cans there? A 20. Do they have 20? A score, anyway. a score of two cans. I think it was, you know, named after after uh, Peter Molyneux got married. He he had 22 uh, beer cans tied to his car. It was just married mm. cars. They oh, drove away. Man. That's oh, the, that the story? Of, yeah. I don't know. That's, I just made that up. I don't, I don't know what I don't know what is the story behind that. I don't understand. Uh, it cares. was it was actually something about how many ideas he wanted to make at the same time and he's like I can make all of those. I think maybe, that's actually what it was. Maybe he uh, named it after 22 cans. Maybe yeah. he named it after his 11 buxom secretaries. No, he had 22 ideas, oh, yeah. right? And and he staffed up with people who said, "Yes, I can make that for you even though I can't." Uh, so he had the entire 22 can. 22 yes men. Yes. 22 can do's. 22 yes I can. 22 we can. Do. Maybe it was yeah. about Barack Obama. Yes yeah. we can. Barack yes, we 20, yes we 22 cans. Barack President Obama. President Obama. <laughs> yes we 22 cans. <laughs> so dogs, yeah, we got it. Dogs. Yeah. I think they really missed out by not including a cat instead. I don't understand uh, Call of Duty Dog because uh, I didn't get to see all the video uh, of it because the videos kept jittering. But there was just a dog in Call of Duty. And there he's was wearing, just like, a dog. A They're like, there's going to be a dog, and the dog can help you, and it's a dog. And then they just showed the dog getting motion captured. <laughs> and you, can and play they, as, you can play as the dog? You, no, the dog's no. a friend. And he, you he, you he send the dog people. on missions, and he, he shoots him, people out of his Send him to gun clear out landmines or what? Yeah. <laughs> he's got he's, a pack on him, and... Uh, and then, then they I've show seen, like I saw the, all the ridiculous photos. Yeah, yeah. They well, show up close of him like moving his mouth in Maya. That's pretty funny. They they fight like demons in Call of Duty, right? Like I think he just bites the demons. Call of Duty Ghost, it's called. So they're fighting yeah. ghosts. Duty Duty ghost. Ghost, ghost dogs. Ghost dogs. Yeah, ghost busting dogs. That thing on its back. Ghost Buster Canine. Yeah, that thing on that thing on its back was a proton pack. So, oh. <laughs> so he so, is busting ghosts. Does, does, does he yeah. actually feel good when he busts, or is that just for humans? Makes everyone feel good. Oh, that's cool, dogs too. So sure. is he, po he po he's possibly the creator of the duty ghosts. No, no. Uh, in, oh, in the, duty. No, in the, dogs, in the dog's case, the song is barking makes me feel good. Barking? Dogs must experience, like... Extreme pleasure when they dog or when they bark when they, when dog. they, sure. they because love the it. dog because dying. the dog next door just loves doing it all day and all yeah. Night. yeah like like two in the morning just arr, 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 arr. and it's just like yeah I can hear you they're super into it you know what I want I want to play like a Super Mario sixty four style platform game that that is just about a dog I think that would be the coolest thing a three D platformer don't mention Okami Okami is not about a dog. Uh, it's a Okami dog. It's, it's, it's not a, a character. God. They got it confused. It's a character oh. that looks like a dog. Is what it what is. If, what if it were two D and it started a corgi? No. No. Okay. That's no. not good enough. <laughs> All right. All right. So speaking of that. dogs, I'm gonna have to dog dogs. you dogs later because I got to go. Okay. Uh, bye, Patrick. Bye, 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 bye. Give us our, Give us your last word okay. on the Xbox One. Cat. That's it. That's not good. Get out here. Kick him off. Kick him out. You're okay. out of here. All right. Next what? question. Yeah. Frank, you uh, mentioned Frank. yes, Frank. It's me. You you mentioned that you spotted Satoru Iwata in the audience today. Uh, what notes would you guess he took for Nintendo during this presentation? <laughs> um. Well, <laughs> I think uh, he 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 didn't really come away with anything but questions because, as we all know, that Iwata asks. Ah. <laughs> So, <laughs> well, who I think I think he was he was. Well, thank you, thank you, uh, can sound effect. So, um, I think he came away with uh, some some questions such as, uh, you know, what does the dog do in the game was his big question. But yeah. also, um, he was wondering what happened next on that broadcast of uh, The Price Is Right because oh, yes. I wanted that to know. out really quickly, and uh, that woman looked like she was going all the way. Sure. Not with Drew, not with Drew Carey in like a sex way. I mean, like like winning the game show. Like, yeah, we got it. You don't have to clarify. Yeah, it seemed like it seemed like she seemed to have it in her to like mm -hmm. you know spin the wheel. Not in a heart sex of, way. Heart no, of a not, no, not in a sex way. No. Yeah, that, she had the woman, heart of a champion, well, not in a sex way. Right. She that that woman has never had sex in her life. It's just <laughs> right. to be clear, and she's not sure. interested. She's just there to win it. And, of course, uh, that's what I'm wanna, there for. So he wanna yeah. asks. 
did that yeah. woman win uh, the showcase showdown? Sure. I want to fuck uh, that lady, but not in a sex way. Never mind. <laughs> that, I think that Iwata would definitely have some questions about uh, why are there so many sports games on this console and I can't even get one from EA? Yeah. Can't even just get a port of a Madden you're already making? Yeah, like give uh, me one of the 360 question. ones. Like, how hard could that be? Yeah. Yeah. That, well, in, in in fact, that's the one. That's the port that they're not getting is from uh, the next, the next uh, 360 PS3 Madden. Yeah, it's really uh, sad. It's sad for them, and they got no EAs at all. And he's and, so adorable that Iwata. He deserves And here it. comes here comes Microsoft saying, "Check out how many EAs we got. We got four. And uh, Iwata was crying. He was he was crying. And so his notes were. I'm very sad. I feel so lonely. <laughs> you want to ask, is not why my is this happening to me? Yeah. Yes. Why isn't there an RPG on the Wii U where you can equip the Iwata Axe? Nice. Because no one's making games for the Wii U. So. Yeah, that's, yeah. Very, that's the that's reason. That's a ding-dong right there. <laughs> ding-dong. There we go. So that's... Uh, uh, so I guess uh, what would... In, in seriousness, Nintendo, they probably just are like, why don't we have Skype on this thing? Well, because Microsoft owns Skype. Yeah, and then they're like, that, that's, that's the answer. And then they're like, oh, God, we're completely screwed with this. Yeah, I would say if they, if they were smarties, they would be like, okay, we really, 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 for real, have to figure out our online situation. We've got to make it super easy for people. We have to make it so that people don't have to independently know each other's friend codes to add each other. Let's let them send requests. How about that? How about we, we, we get with, like, 10 why is, years ago? Why is that his takeaway from this particular conference when they didn't really focus on Because it was all that? about social Because it, it was all about internet and synergy and connectedness and... Uh, Centernet, energy. I, th internet. I think they probably were looking at the TV stuff, which, you know, they kind of tried to do first and going, well, why isn't ours this easy? Like, why yeah. doesn't ours just have things that plug in and record? You know, why, why isn't ours working? Yeah, I mean, they could be doing the that kind of... Obnoxious picture-in-picture picture multitasking. Well, they don't have to. They got another screen. That was the yeah, point. I know, but I mean, they you could can have they a could camera filming your chin as you play games, and they then could other do, people see they your could chin. be doing it better because of that, because of the second screen, and they're yeah. not yet. I think the answer that uh, Nintendo is looking for is uh, Microsoft seems to be making their console as a premium product. And uh, Nintendo seems interested in cobbling together their their hardware products out of uh, whatever loose vegetable fibers they can find in a dumpster, right? <laughs> and uh, they're not they're not trying to make a triple A AAA thing. Uh, yeah. I think they're answering to a different audience. Meanwhile, I think they will Nintendo's settle for cool. they'll settle for whatever A's fall out of their alphabet soup. I bet I'm gonna have fun. Uh, Making, uh, uh, playing some video games on the Wii U at some point. Yeah, in like if, five if the, years when all the games are out and you've got a good library of 12 things that you're interested in. Just like happened to me with the sure. Wii. Yeah. When the, by the time they announced the Wii V. Yeah, the Wii V. The Wii V. V, W, X, Y, Z. Sure. The Wheezy is going to be the best. <laughs> yeah, that's the one that's moving on up. Nintendo needs to abandon the Wii name. <laughs> In the future, I just want to say, I just got to call it the Nintendo. Yes, just call yeah. it the Nintendo. Nintendo. Yeah, in, the fu in the future, we'll just have Nintendo, Xbox, PlayStation. That's what they should do. No, I think in the future, we will have PCs. Yeah. Basically. Valve, yeah. Steam, Or Max. Whatever. And Max, 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 the knife. Max, Max. Max. yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that the Apple uh, TV is going to do it. They're going to yeah. just blow the doors off the whole thing, and then Microsoft. I hate cry. doors. Yeah, yeah, they hate sure. doors too. At Apple, it's, too they keep... it's too soon. The keyboard has just died. Come on. They just keep blowing them off. <laughs> Not in a sex way. They just, keep <laughs> blowing... they just keep blowing the doors off. <laughs> Apple, they hate doors over there. Yeah. I mean, really, what would Nintendo's takeaway be other than, like, maybe we should have made something powerful? <laughs> like, yeah. I don't know yeah. what the I don't think they think that, that, though. They, they really feel like their direction is different and. Yeah, right. and pretty good, and that people are going to come yes. around to it because they did with they, the Wii. They yeah. walk the true and righteous path. But the Wii didn't have the TNRP. The yes. uphill battle that the Wii U has right now, like the Wii, 
you know, it wasn't an instant smash, but it was like steady, and then it but we exploded. arrived right at the point where the DS had started to really take off, yeah. and that's mm-hmm. why the Wii didn't immediately crash and burn was because the was... DS had just been exploding yeah. at that point. But the Wii was also all over morning shows and yep. news stories about grandma waking up for the first time and and bowling with her children. Yep. I'm gonna bowl. But man, in that Gizmodo video, in the, in, the, in that Gizmodo video of the uh, that, that Gizmodio of the Gizmodidio. Connect, that guy keeps talking about. He's like, yeah, so your grandma can be skyping with you, and she'll see everyone in the room. She can see everything that's happening in the room. As you can see, this deep focus, this wide depth of field. Grandma can see everything. It's like I'm sitting there going, does does grandma have a computer, or does she have an Xbox? Uh, does she have a Connect Two? Does she have oh. eyes that work? I mean, he really is wasn't the, sensitive to that. Is the Connect is the Connect telling us her heartbeat? Uh, can I have an? Is there an app that will just from my iPhone that will tell me my grandma's heartbeat? <laughs> yeah, just at all times. <laughs> well, that's actually the yeah. weirdest thing in the world. <laughs> I gra- I, yeah, I Grammy. I want some sort of a Fitbit uh, app that just lets me see what my friends' heartbeats are. <laughs> at any oh God. Wow, that's actually any. If any uh, software developer out there is uh, listening and wants to work with me on this, I have a really good idea for how to actually sure. implement it. So. Talk, yeah. talk. We'll have so this. Be like, oh, John Johnson is masturbating. Yeah. <laughs> masturbating. Exactly. And then it's like yeah. it'll it'll return like, the heart. Oh, it looks like your friend's working out, and you'll be like, no, he doesn't even work out. It, it'll show your friend's <laughs> heart rate, and then it will also show a, a list of possible activities they're engaged in to achieve such a heart oh, rate. And then, and then everybody votes on yeah, what it'll, they think it'll, it is. It'll track their <laughs> most recent like heart rates. This is a really good idea. Everyone votes. Uh, like now he's masturbating, and then like, I don't know if it's monetizable, but let's uh, let's get it on. It'll and then it'll it'll ping you. It'll send you a push notification when uh, a drastic <laughs> change has occurred. You are having a heart attack. And then so it's like if one of your the idea is that if one of your friends dies, it'll uh, you'll know. Life alert app is what they need. That's what they yeah. call it. Life alert. Yeah. Life I'm gonna alert. Need one of those. All right, next one. Next, next, let's Can do the next. Thing. What's the next uh, thing? What are we doing? Complete this sentence. No. Okay. The, the Xbox One will be the blank of video games. Console. <laughs> That's a good one. Tiger <laughs> Woods. The Xbox One will be the PC of the living room of video games. I got one. Uh, the Xbox One will be the detective bunk of video games. Hmm. Bunk. Yeah. Xbox One will be the bunk bed of video games. <laughs> the bunk Moreland of video games. Will be the uh, the Xbox One will be the uh, I don't know pirate. Really, it'll be the Xbox 360 of <laughs> video games released in the year 2014. It'll be the Xbox 360 of the current era of video games. There you go. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, do you guys want to do a lightning round, or have you had enough? I think we've been on here more than an hour, right? Yeah, yeah. this has been the Insert Credit Podcast, episode 46, Durango, Durango Unchained. Durango, Durango Unchained. I want to address our Twitter Durango. handles real I want to address our Twitter handles real quick for a very special reason. Oh, I'm yeah. I'm at Alex Jaffe. Uh, Brandon is at Necrosofty. Frank's at Frank Zafaldi. And Tim Rogers, take note, his has changed to wrong sound effect. (laughs) Nice. I I guess your microphone muted. Your microphone. Yeah, his uh, microphone muted. While he did that. that (laughs) That's great. That's Uh, the best. Tim's uh, Twitter handle is now one zero eight at one zero eight, as in the numbers. The you have to put the app before. Yeah, there's. Well, you put Did the. Did someone app. just turn on Windows ninety five? That was me. Yes. Cool. Windows Google. And when Windows I say Google. that was me, I mean that was Windows M E. Well, actually, oh. wait, that wasn't the Windows ninety five sound. What was that? Was that like, what 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 OS had that when you started up? Was that none Windows? of them? I don't <laughs> think. That might have been Windows three point one. I can't remember. Someone in the comments, let me know. We need to end the show. Okay, and Alex let's is still uh, muted. So you're, yeah, you're, uh, you're. We're not hearing you. Tune yeah. in next week when we'll have probably the greatest Genesis games of all time. Maybe. Yeah. Okay, let's do that. And uh, uh, and I will be very is... mad.
if it doesn't have all the awesome games on it. I will also. <laughs> um, and uh, we're supposed to say this, so I'm going to say it. And this is podcasting. All right, I'm going to use the toilet. Are we going to talk for like 20 minutes? Or yep. uh, Man, you, so... you ran that right into the end of Frank's This is Podcasting just to make it really difficult to uh, remove. Yeah. I'm going to go to the bathroom. Let's do it. Who cares? What, I mean, have you have you ever listened to one of these podcasts? Uh, no, thankfully. On the iTunes? They're, I mean, we're not like... Uh, you know, we're not we're not some sort of conservative talk radio. Uh, it ain't rocket polished, surgery. Uh, no, okay, yeah. go for it. Go for it's it. Not okay. some extremely. So, hey guys, can you hear me now? Yes, yes. we can. Yeah. Okay, good. All right, you guys who were still hanging around, ask us some questions okay. related to Xbox, whatever or not. I don't care. Uh, for the ease of editing, do you want to do the ending again? Just the last one. No, no. Yeah. I'll do it. I'll do it. No, we don't need to. It's fine. Okay, fine. I won't. I'm not gonna do it. Edit it, me saying it in from episode 45. <laughs> Oh, wait, I, was I on 45? No, I wasn't on 45. Uh, uh, nope. Sure. Nope, uh, I'm not about edit, stuff. Edit me saying it, it, saying it from episode 9, which was the first time I said it. Uh, so, let's see. Someone says sliced bread for some reason. I don't know if that, what that's related to. Uh, so. Sliced it's bread of video, video games, probably. Games, yes. Oh, right, right, right. Okay. Um, let's see. Wasn't Spielberg oh, yeah, one, producer? Well, one thing that I, just, that I had wanted to talk about, Tim would probably want to talk about this, this too, but maybe maybe we'll still be talking when he gets back. Is um, they were talking about how they have fifteen exclusive new IP things, and well, hang on, they have fifteen exclusive games, eight new IP. Okay, eight new IPs uh, that are exclusive. Right, IP free. And is. yeah, and I, but okay, so fifteen exclusive games, and I was thinking, there was a time when I would have thought that was cool. But now I find exclusives are just it's they're they're like f- forcing you to buy their yeah. console with that. It's not yeah. like exciting. It's not cool that they have exclusives. It's annoying. It's exciting for uh for them. The, co- the console warriors that still exist who think that, you know, the way to enjoy to video better. games is to is to join a tribe related to the piece of hardware that you happen to buy. Yeah. Um, so you know it's exciting for them because that means the other guy doesn't have those games. But uh, other oh, than yeah. that, it's like who cares? That reminds me of my favorite thing that they said that I wrote down verbatim. And let me see if I can find it. It was in the tweets. Okay. Um, it was uh. It was ridiculous and quite related to that. Um, hold on. Hold on. It's coming. Oh, yeah. So I forget who it was because I wasn't looking at the screen, but he said, openly openly taunt the success you're having with your friends that... Uh, the success you're having that your friends aren't. So <laughs> it's totally, like, in keeping with that yeah, valuable Xbox culture that has emerged. They're like, yeah, yeah, your friends suck, and you should feel better than them. Yeah, it's still for thirteen-year-olds. Exclusives are just not a good thing for players. They are a good thing for Companies. business people, but not for players at all. Hey, Tim Rogers, can you drive a stick shift? Me? Yeah. Heck yeah. Hey, uh, Daffy, Why? can you drive a stick shift? Nope. Okay, I can, so I can the, barely drive as is. The people in this, someone asked, uh, the, among us, the people who can drive a stick are Brandon and Tim. Yeah. I can, I've never learned to drive a you, stick. You can't drive a stick? Why not? I've never even, like, sat in one. You've, well, you've sat in one. Just well, okay, okay, I've been a passenger in one, yes, yeah. but I've never, yeah. like, had the opportunity to learn in one. Uh, it's it's not really that hard. If you can, uh, if you can play, like... One of those video games with weird controls. If you can play Gun Valkyrie, you can drive a stick shift. Yeah. Okay. Well, if you I can can't... play, if you play Gun Valkyrie and you can drive an automatic car, you can. Driving, uh, driving stick is the only way to roll. Yeah. Uh, I sure do enjoy it. I can roll and without it. I think cars are pretty cool. And you do. Driving, driving, driving a car without a stick shift is not as much of a fun yeah. thing for me. Uh, stick my shift da- cars are definitely the best. When yeah. I was th- when I was thirteen, my dad would say, "If you could beat a Zelda game, you could drive a stick shift." Yeah, exactly, exactly. That's probably true. And was he wrong because you can't drive one now? No, I just never really tried. Just never he was wrong because you didn't do it. 
I does he make said it can. He didn't say will. Okay. Yeah. So um, this is a pretty good one. Uh, with, where where'd it go? Hang on. <laughs> oh, uh, if you could have one video game theme song play every time you entered a room, what would it be? Um, Seinfeld. Like 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 an eight bit version <laughs> of Seinfeld. Jum, 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 no, jum. just Seinfeld. But it's video game music. It's okay. It can it, video game theme song actually. Oh, um, I would take mine. Video games the, have theme songs. Yeah, I, I would take mine from the Freakazoid video game. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah. Um, the only video game theme song I can think of is like, like Metal Gear Solid has one, right? That, there's like the theme. Chum chum oh, chum chum chum. You Final mean you Fantasy want like a, has a prelude? Metal Gear Solid mind. Three has that separate Snake Eater. That's what I would go Snake Eater. I would want the force, the the. Uh, the the little tiny fanfare at the beginning of the original Final Fantasy battle music to play when I is that the room. theme song though the the, the, the Victor- Final the, Fantasy theme song no the victory fanfare but the question is video game Ba-da-da-da-da. theme song Ba-da-da-da-da. well I I am uh, I'm hijacking the question and just saying any piece of video game music because okay. I don't feel like video games uh, I don't think that that's what the question yeah you can't well, really I mean video game theme songs come on. I don't know about the theme song. No one has those. Um, I I really like. I think I've probably said this before, but I really like the the five second sting that plays in Retro City Rampage when you finish a mission. That's one of it's, it was by Vert. It's one of my favorite pieces of game music. I would get really sick of any of the things. Oh, of course, yeah. That played all the time. That's why know, I'm going maybe, for a five second song because it's over. Yeah. Maybe yeah, casino think, think. casino night zone. The idea of the question is, yeah, you'd have to, you'd have to pick one. What I about the pick, and the uh, Sonic would, the Hedgehog level? Sure. Chum chum yeah. chum 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 chum. Bum 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 bum. bum. There you go. That's that's probably the best one. It's like, yeah, hey guys. Definitely. You come in and then you go, hey guys. After that song plays. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I can imagine that. Uh, Blaine, if you could edit in that sound effect right before Frank uh, Tim says, "Hey guys." Don't do that because this is the post show. <laughs> chum, chum, oh, chum, 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 chum. Hot oh, God so asks, uh, "Would Microsoft's presentation have been improved if Jay Allard had come out come out on a skateboard?" I think oh, the man. answer is obviously yes. Yeah. Sure, yeah. and o- only if it would have also been an announcement of Skate Four. That's and already. also, um, it's it's an announcement of him coming back and uh, Skate Four. The the, uh, the Backstreets Back song. Is playing as he's on the skateboard. Back. Oh, yeah, that's that's back. 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 All right. Yeah, yeah that's my, so that's have you, my have video guys, game theme song. Have you guys already addressed the the several comments explaining that uh, you can't copy from one HDMI device uh, into another? Because we haven't addressed of, that now. No, because no, a lot of people yeah. commented on that. There's Don't protocols, copy that protocols to. Well, I would assume that. that the, Blu-ray thing. Yeah, but I would assume that um, you know it's the same. Broadcast protocol, you know, as as a cable box, right? Like, sure. well, I maybe, feel like, like with the if the I feel like if the PS4 has a, a built-in share feature, they're they're not gonna nobody's gonna bother hacking it. So you got <laughs> so you can stream your PS4 on your. When Xbox. when has nobody's gonna bother hacking it ever been true of anything? Nobody's hacked the uh, the Early PlayStation Max. Vita yet. God darn it. Yeah, they have. There's there's progress. Come on in. No, I can't. I can't play no emulators on my PlayStation Vita yet. Yeah, it's not. How's it going, McCune? My bro McCune oh, is Zach. here at my house for uh, Hi, Zach. some reason. Hi, Zach. Hi, Zach. He's, he's here to hang out. For Zach, I didn't understand your Instagram earlier. Yes. The end. Um, McCune <laughs> says he didn't understand, or Zach Brandon says he didn't un- understand your Instagram earlier. Yes. McCune, I'm gonna unplug this. So yes, Zach McCune, the Santa Claus of Pizza Christmas, he says it was it was too motorcycle related. So this is this is the ticket. Yeah, it's the ticket. McCune is. Uh, can you guys hear me? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, Mc- yeah we're podcasting Still? right now. Yeah, we we'll, we do the post show thing. Uh, oh, someone had the correct answer. Answer for the music that I have to repeat here, which is the Zelda unlocking song. When oh yeah, <laughs> that would actually be a good song to have when you enter a room. Were you showing us something on the camera? I got it focused on. No, you I know. wasn't actually showing. Okay, I was just looking at it, and it just happened to be in front of me. I see. This is McCune's ticket to see Boris tonight. McCune has decided he doesn't want to go. Oh uh, yeah, I can't. I can't go, Tim. Why can't you go? Oh. Because because I, I have too much stuff to do before I leave tomorrow. Why can't you go? 
You guys are going to see Boris? Yeah. We were. I mean, oh, yeah. I can't do it. I love that movie. Sasha Baron Cohen is great. That's Borat. Yeah, That's yeah, Bo-Rat. Yeah, That's yeah, Sasha yeah, Baron Cohen's yeah. band. Come on, it's different. <laughs> he plays um, with Keanu Reeves. So a funny thing that happened Boris. back in that first E3 that was at... Um, in Santa Monica and everything was all scattered around and stuff. I I interviewed two separate. I, I think it was Peter Moore and Pete Hines. First I'll stop. Um, I I interviewed them about. It was the stop the first time I went there. Uh, Tim, you having a conversation over there too? Yeah, I am. I can hear it. Um. Anyway. <laughs> it's uh, it was just funny to hear the the like Sony and Microsoft argue about who was going to win, HD, DVD, or Blu-ray. And they were both calling the others liars. And it was like, Pete Hines, I said to a Microsoft guy, Pete Hines says that, you know, uh, HD, DVD will be dead within three months. And, you know, Microsoft guy, who I think was Peter Moore at the time, was like, yeah, you're going to have to, there are some people out there that would definitely disagree with you, blah, blah. And now you look at uh, Xbox One, it got Blu-ray in it. Mm-hmm. Sony was right. Well, yeah, they they were right well before the. Xbox they won that one. war. I know, but but but. <laughs> but for it lasted me, it, more than three. It lasted like five months. Guys, for me, it comes full circle now. Yeah, let's give credit where credit is due. Porn won that war. Porn? Yeah. Really? Blu-ray, yeah, Blu-ray won because that's where all the porn came up. I had no idea. Oh that yeah, there that's was actually true. Yeah, yeah. Like, like the porn industry supported Blu-ray, and that was. Yeah, industry. that's how it won. Yeah. Interesting. I had no idea because I certainly would not want any pornogra- pornographic bodies to be in high definition. That would really, really disgust me. The end. What about surround sound? Oh, God. I Yeah, that would <laughs> be even worse. I hate everything about this idea. Uh, yeah, that sounds pretty... But not in a sex way. No. No. no nothing to do with sex. It's just going all the way. Um, let's see, we have anything else? We can't hear you anymore, Tim. What console had the best reveal out of any console generation? Well, didn't really... Well, okay. We, do, uh, we don't really know any before, like, PlayStation 1 or Saturn, Wait. I guess, right? Oh, NES kind of had one at CES, right? Didn't Tennis for Two debut at the World's Fair? I'm going to say that one. That was not the World's Fair. It was at a, it was at a showing at the school. Uh, um, the school's fair. The school's fair. The thing about Tennis fair. for Two is that Tennis for Two, no one would know about it if Nintendo's lawyers hadn't dug up some obscure stuff just to prove a point once. There was probably yeah. other people who did the exact same thing or something similar before or around that time. That's what I'm going to say about Tennis for Two. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. I needed to go on that rant. But um, the NES, yeah, it had a pretty crappy debut at CES. Um, the gen. I mean, all those games just basically had like a CES uh, game systems had you know a, a press conference at CES that was probably back then an actual press conference with like people in suits like writing notes. You know, it probably wasn't very exciting. Um, the first exciting one I can think of is the the Saturn US one that I know of. Hmm. Um. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. It's kind of unfortunate that, like, video doesn't seem to exist of the reveals of these conferences. It's not good. I, I saw a couple of tweets. Well, I heard McCune for a second. Yeah. That was interesting. Yep. Um, He's in there. So what's the answer to the question, then? What is the most exciting console reveal? This is they have. I don't know. Sports. Sports. Yeah, sports is a good one. I think this is kind of petering out here. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe we should uh, stop it. And, sure. and so I just I just told McCune, did you see that new Xbox has a, it's got a Blu-ray player in it? And he was like, oh yeah. And we're like, heck yeah. And we were joking about it being awesome because it's got Blu-ray. <laughs> uh, it's got Blu-rays on it. I've got sorry, Blu-rays. I miss that. Did uh, Zach McCune hear me? We're going to just dunk your PlayStation in the toilet. And then did Zach McCune hear production. me call him the Santa Claus of Pizza Christmas? Is McCune the Santa Claus of Pizza Christmas? Yes. Right. There we go. All right. Um, yeah, let's call it. I don't see any questions. I feel like I'm going to look for one more question. That's about it, I guess. Yeah. 
like, what do you guys think of EA is a question. Uh, I don't know. They're a video That's game publisher. That's just Stabo. He's, he's just trolling. Oh, okay. Where's, where's... <laughs> Good old guy. Yeah. yeah. Ryan Oblivion says that I should go see Boris. Uh, yeah. uh, I, know, I know this guy, and uh, you should know that I've seen Boris like 60 times already. So... Honk. I go see Boris yeah. by myself. I'm seeing Boris for the 61st yeah. time by myself. In an early draft of my questions for today, one of the topics was sports. Sports? Uh, I think sports games are cool. I think EA's, uh, EA's UFC game is probably going to be cool. I think that if if what they had said were true, uh, they would have a very interesting thing on their hands where they were like, now let us show you what our sports video games will actually look like. And they yeah. show a whole bunch of dudes running around with no HUD and no cursors over anything and nothing to indicate anything happening. If they, they could actually cool figure that out, it would be they amazing. Had, but they, they had real athletes talking about uh, talking about sports stuff, and they're like, yeah, so it, there's this really neat little series of mini documentary videos that EA put out, and it's like, those are pretty cool, but I don't see how sports games are going to incorporate all that stuff without decades more work. Like, they're, they've got these videos that do a really good job of sort of, like, humanizing humanizing the athlete, but, uh, but yeah, it's like, I don't see how they're actually going to deliver all of that. I just want to note for the record that uh, my dad had owner's box uh, seats for the Marlins game tonight, and I missed them to be here. So, uh, Is owner's yeah. box, uh, is that Sony's console? Uh, yeah, the owner's box. Oh. The owner's box. Oh, man, is that the next Xbox? So I, I just linked that thing in there, which that's got the – there's these videos, and they're these classy little videos that they put together with these really kind of classy interviews with 